Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, welcome to this quick look of Hollow Knight, which is a 2D hand-drawn Metroidvania about cute little bugs that came out back in February. And just with the, the deluge of games that came out in the first few months of 2017, this might have flown under some radars. Now that we're coming up on the end of that tidal wave of big releases, I wanted to come back to Hollow Knight and check it out and see how it is. In Wilds Beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you, the challenge, met. Under palest watch, you taught, we changed, base instincts were redeemed, a world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From Elegy for Hallowness, by Monomon the Teacher. I like the poetry you start things off. Ooh, that feels pretty nice. So I'm generally really picky about Metroidvanias. Like, I have a deep love for Super Metroid and Metroid Fusion, but... Uh, for instance, Symphony of the Night, something like that... ...doesn't actually do all that much for me. I can appreciate it, certainly. The craft that goes into it, but... ...it doesn't absorb me the way that it did for a lot of people. Uh, I kind of had a similar reaction to the recent Axiom Verge, so I'd say that I'm pretty picky about games in this genre. And it's it's hard for me to pin down my tastes in Metroidvanias. When I love them, I really love them. I have a deep appreciation for them. When I don't, they just don't really wind up doing all that much for me. But I think they've done a strong job so far uh, between the color palette and and the sound design just in this initial uh, outing to establish an atmosphere. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Uh, achieve feats which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once you have enough soul, you can hold B to focus soul and heal. Reminds me of Ori a little bit. Ori is a Metroidvania that I adored, like a 10 out of 10, almost perfect game. To try to establish my taste a little bit more. I, I, I appreciate the setting of this as well. Um, I think some of the best Metroidmanias, or at least the ones that I love the most, uh, foster a sense of, of isolation in the atmosphere. But, uh, partially by putting you in, in hard to relate to alien worlds. And in this case, they're, it's not in a literal alien world, but it's alien to anyone playing this. Because it's this underground cavern of weird, cute bug people. Or are these like soul hearts? Like uh, Isaac soul hearts? Oh, that doesn't even take all that much and it fills up really quick. Also, it looks like uh, aliens, like little greys. <laughs> I'm 
Oh, oh. Trying to watch out for stalactites. Do I have a map yet? Or do I I start with one rather? No, I only have one of those nice little square Axiom Verge slash uh slash Metroid maps. Oh, that would do so much for me if I had one of those, or if I got one like that. That just filled in as I explored. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom, Hallow Nest. The first and last and only civilization? This feels very, very smooth. Quick. The only thing that has not been smooth so far was that uh, cutscene that played right before we got into gameplay, where it felt very choppy. I'm not entirely sure why. I can't actually tell if that was Dirtmouth, the fading town. I can't tell if that was a technical stutter or if they were going for like a cinematic 24 Ooh, FPS. Oh there, Traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. He's the Elder Bug. The other residents, they've all disappeared, heading down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. So is that what we've come to Hello Nest or uh, uh, Dirtmouth for? Sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Okay. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. This sorrowful string section of the music. Mmm. Supposedly the greatest kingdom there ever was, full of treasures and secrets. Okay, so Hello Nest is the civilization beneath Dirtmouth, and everyone from this town has just disappeared down the well, seeking fortune down there. Uh, the bench may be iron, but I assure you. Okay, plus I enjoy the company. Uh, yeah, same thing. So, rest on the bench, get our hearts back, or our grace, <laughs> our soul. For all your mapping supplies, we'll be opening soon. Is Selna and Cornifer? Corn. Well, down we go into into Hello Nest <clears throat> with no map and no way to get a map yet until uh, we unlock the mapping store back up in Dirtmouth. Oh shit! Oh, get those, get those. My coins, my sweet coins. Uh, the strongest thing that I can say for this game so far uh, is the art, man. The art is, is what initially, uh, what initially caught my eye. Whoa! Oh, and the way they animate. They actually do a lot with uh, the animation being a little bit, a little bit choppy. There's a certain effect. Uh, the animation on your character is smooth, like it's got a lot of frames of animation. Um, so it, it looks very fluid, but like that, the, the grub there, you saw, uh, didn't quite have as many frames, but it, it makes it look like an old cartoon, which is a nice effect. The art, like, the this hand-drawn style is really magical. And as much as I, I sort of understand how the sausage, is, the sausage is made, like, I kind of get how this style of animation in games works to a workable extent. Uh, 
my brain still goes like, wow, I'm controlling this hand-drawn animation. That's amazing. That's so cool. Every hand-drawn game does this to me. Like, Cuphead, when I tried that out at, uh, at PAX, did that for me. Skullgirls does it. Like, it's such a beautiful uh, style of art, especially for a game. Really lends a magical feeling to controlling it. Almost got caught by that. Only thing I really don't like so far is that you don't start with a map that this is something that I'm gonna have to unlock. Like, I don't want the whole cavern structure revealed to me. I want it to start off as one small square that just fills in as I go along. Again, the, the Metroid style of mapping. You enter a room, you get another square on the map. You come across a door that clearly requires an ability or some item from later in the game to unlock. You cross that off with a little color-coded thing, so you know where to come back to later on. Bury my mother, pale in sight. Bury my father with his eyes shut tight. Bury my sisters two by two, and then when you're done, let's bury me too. Wow, that's grim. Myla. Do you know that one? It's one of my favorites. We can sing something else if you like. You start singing, I'll join in. I bet you have b b beautiful singing. <laughs> so what are you doing down here? Or So what What are you down here for? If you came to get yeah, wealthy, just look around you. These mines are still bursting with riches. There's p p plenty for everyone. Just grab a pick and join in. <laughs> Little flourishes like that give him, uh, give Myla a lot of character. Bury the knight with a broken nail, bury the furry something with a crown. I can't remember the rest of that one. <laughs> Maybe I'll just hum it. <laughs> Alright, no more from Myla. Myla is the same thing as the grub from earlier. Not quite as many frames of animation, but it looks like an old cartoon. Also, the really thick, uh, the thick strokes, the thick brush strokes, or uh, I guess the the thick character outlines. Okay, so we'll try this one too. Oh, what the hell? Like a chosen statue? No, just getting a lot of soul from it. Oh, and this comes back now on its own. That's good. So it's really just this now. This looks like it's gonna... ...collapse under my weight. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, maybe I can strike it. No? This looks very... ...rickety. Okay, we'll leave that alone for now, I guess. I have to keep a mental note of that. Oh no, on one hand, this is... Like, the atmosphere is actually quite... Heavy and oppressive, but... It's also... Sort of a... Mellow, exploration-focused thing. But just not... Oh god, it's so open right off the bat. It's making me a little anxious. Like, I'm having this weird swirl of feelings about this. It's really hard down to pin it. It's really hard to pin down an emotional state right now. What does that strike feel like? It reminds me very much of something else. Oh man, maybe they bleed pixels? Is that what that's reminding me of? It's certainly got like the fluidity and the, and the, the movement speed. A 
little bit of the new Strider. Which was excellent. Yeah, that's what that strike is reminding me of a little bit more. It's like a little uh, DMC style red orb fountain. Oh my god, it's just so big and wide open. Also, those like, uh, flies, I guess, they're super cute. If not, a little bit of a pain to hit. I'm just kind of going with the flow right now. It's hard to put together a meticulous travel plan right now. Oh, you look like you have maps. Hello there, come down to explore the beautiful old ruins. Don't mind me. Who are you? Are you, uh, one of the map guys? I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. That feels like developer commentary. Like, this is how you enjoy this game. Don't worry too- don't sweat the small stuff so much. Don't sweat getting lost, that's part of the fun. Oh, thank god a map! I feel like that's the developers directly addressing my anxiety right now. Oh, I hit B because I've been playing too much Neo, where B is confirm. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I definitely, absolutely want that map. It alone won't show you where you are. If you've not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife is Zelda. Where is the Zelda? I could use that. She's just now opening our new sh map shop in Dirtmouth. Selling all sorts of useful things. Pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. Uh, so where am I on this? Rather... Okay. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, we're gonna need that compass. This reminds me of a lot of the issues I had with Hyper Light Drifter and its map. Granted, I don't feel like Hyper Light Drifter was nearly as open as this. Feels like... You a boss? Or are you just... Cause you're getting new, unique music. Okay, I guess it wasn't. Oh, another one. Ooh, more! Yeah, but these are mandatory fights to get... to get going. I feel like I, I made a wish on a monkey's paw where I wanted a map so bad, and then I got one, and I kind of hate it. Um... Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, this map... not doing it for me. This cute little guy wants to kill me. Oh, that, oh, that worm on the right. That's gotta be an instant kill, right? Just do not get caught in that mall, the Sarlacc pit. Yes. Okay. I mean, so far I'm I'm still just heading forward and I'm able to progress without much of a problem. So that that swages a little bit of the anxiety. But it's like once I get to the point where the level design becomes more complex and they introduce more of the Castlevania -y, or the Metroidvania -y elements of like the lock and key stuff. I think that's when it's going to become very apparent, the the foibles of this map. I just can't believe how big and open this is right from the start. Uh, that's both a blessing and a curse. Y'all rest. 
What is all this? Toll machine with the symbol of a stag. Yeah, I'll insert some of my geo. This is a fast travel point. Looks like a train platform. Oh, a bell spawned. Ah, uh, okay. Nothing on the wall, so we'll go ring the bell. That looks great! Wow! It's been an age since I last heard the ringing of a station bell. It echoed down the stageways and called for me. I've grown stiff and tired over the many years. I've forgotten much, but the sound of the bell will always call me back. The last stag. Stagways stretch the depths of Hellenest if you want to travel them. Hail me from the platform. I'll take you where you need to go. So not a, a train platform, a stag platform. Remember when these highways and crossroads pulse with life. These are the paths I first carried passengers through when I was young. He's got beard. Uh, the travelers are long gone, yet still I remain. Now it seems it's just you and I and the furtive creatures scratching and squirming all around us. It's a big bushy beard on this stag beetle. All right. Okay, that's how I pick a destination to travel. This is laid out like the map of the, the Russian metro system. <laughs> okay, so the Forgotten Crossroads plus Dirt Myth. Cool. The other argument for the map not being uh, quite as gamey like showing exactly where you are at all times or even giving you an indication beyond these are the landmarks memorize where they are and the, the kind of paths around them is I guess it forces you to engage um, and internalize the layout of the place better uh, that doesn't necessarily do it for me like that's not the, the kind of thing that I am that I love because it, it, I feel overwhelmed. And this is partially why I love Metro, uh, Super Metroid so much. So I do not feel overwhelmed when I play Super Metroid. Uh, on the other hand... I am enjoying pretty much everything else, aside from the map. And my monkey's paw wish. Oh, big orange sack. Ow, god, I didn't expect that to be instant de- Oh, it's not. Okay. Oh, it's a little weird. Oh, you again. Another one of these. Let me go over here. This all looks very nice. Oh, cool! The fog. That Caterpie. How do I get up to you? Ah, uh, it seems like for how high this jump is, maybe a simple double jump would suffice. But I don't have that yet. Ow, God. I don't love the hit effect. Uh, the, the, rather, the... Um, the effect when you take a hit. Uh, and it's mostly the way the sound uh, uh, dampens for a little while. It's a main thing I don't like about that. The hit stop and everything else is fine. It's just that the, the music dampening is a little annoying. But hey, incentive to not get hit. Just don't get hit. Oh, you drop a lot of Geo. And babies. This is... Oh! Not what I expected. Just wait, an open slot? Door with an open slot. Uh, which I cannot otherwise interact with just yet. I thought that was another door like the one that led me to Dirtmouth. In a hidden geocache. Hey, geocache! <laughs> oh, man. 
as a hobby that I would like to get into. I would like that. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, what's down here? This is definitely tickling my wanderlust a little bit. This is a boss room. Oh, yeah. Dude, I love these animations. Gruz mother. A little bit of maybe armored armadillo action. Maybe a little bit. Uh, not quite the same pattern. Same idea though, bouncing around. Oh, I thought I would have made it through the other side. It sucks. Oh, you didn't do the full bounce that time. Ah, man. Not reading our movements well enough. There it is. There's so much polish in the animations, too. Oops. Thought there was one more cycle. I was getting ready to, like, walk under. But she stopped. Duh, duh. Oh, this music is nice, too. That was pretty fun. Ooh! That's why the door hasn't opened yet. Round two? Just a bunch of you? Oh, this is sad! This is actually very sad. Okay, well. We got our Geo. No new ability? Might get that in a little bit. But I think we've, uh... Uh, we've seen a fair chunk of the beginning of the game. Uh, I like it. I'm not full, it, it's not fully clicking with me yet, but I at the very least am going to come back to this. Thanks for watching everyone, take it easy, have a good one.